before we get into the video really quickly i'd just like to say this is not going to be like any of my other videos there'll be no goofing and there won't really be many jokes i'm sorry if that annoys any of you but for those of you who aren't annoyed sit back and relax while i talk about one of my favorite games of all time Inmost is a game where you play as three characters, a man, a girl, and a knight. Each of them have their own mysteries, and it's your job to piece together their story. Huge spoiler warning for anyone interested in this game. Go play that first, and then come back to this video. The game isn't even that long. Trust me, you won't regret it. Ever since Inmost was announced, I've just been waiting for it anxiously, because it just looked amazing to me. As said previously, there are three characters you play as throughout the game. An unnamed man who has to traverse the mysterious world around him. A girl who has to traverse her own home and discover the mysteries of not only her past, but her parents as well well and a knight who has to traverse his surroundings whilst fighting off any monsters that get in his way. The story of the game slowly reveals itself as time goes on in small increments allowing plot twists to come basically every second. As the man you explore your surroundings as there's no real clear path, the game isn't that linear causing you to wander around helping people you meet along the way. Other than that you complete a few puzzles and escape the few bosses that they have in the game as there's no real way to defend yourself. As you explore and unlock more and more things the game begins cutting into the other protagonists of this game, most notably the little girl. The little girl's entire story takes place in the house, which is honestly brilliant. Every time the game cuts to her, there's usually a new room to explore or a new mystery to uncover. And it's honestly gripping as the game gets very real and very dark in these sections, a lot more than the other ones. Also, because of the girl's very small mobility, the game gets very creative with its puzzles, such as using a cupboard as a ladder or going through vents in your house. It's honestly brilliant. Another thing the game does really well is getting you in the mind of the little girl. She finds a bunny later on in the story who acts as her friend and may or may not be supernatural but don't think too much about it. She discovers very limited information and comes to her own conclusion like a child would so we're constantly guessing who's actually the villain. Is it the mom or is it the dad or is it her? And last but not least, the knight. Not much is ever spoken about the knight. We find out he's working under the rule of the Keeper of the Spark and that he sustains it, but we'll get onto that later. His gameplay consists of basic combat. You can swing your sword and dodge attacks and that's pretty much it. You can't even jump. Instead, you have to rely on your grappling hook to get up and down platforms. You'll continue to traverse areas, killing enemies, and really nothing else. It's pretty simple, to be fair. Another interesting thing about this game is its NPCs. All the NPCs in this game are extremely bizarre and really contribute to the dark, weird atmosphere this game loves. You have this hunched-over man who loves collecting the pain of others, and if you give him enough, he'll tell you the fragments of the story so you can piece it together. You have a witch who gives you a key item to use and really nothing else, and a mysterious family of cats who were forced to move. But by far the best character has to be the cartographer, as he's the only form of comic relief you'll see in this game. But even his design is incredibly odd. All of these NPCs you'll find in the man's story, as neither the little girl or the knight have any NPCs to interact with. Can we also talk about the art in this game, because it is genuinely fantastic. Every character is so well made, the backgrounds and the buildings look incredible as well. I personally love pixel art games, it's what drew me to the game to begin with and they pull it off so perfectly. All the enemies in the game look incredible too, especially the Keeper, its shadowy figure is so simplistic yet so amazing. And now onto the main reason I wanted to talk about this game, the incredible story. As said before, Inmost story is woven in such a way that as it gets unraveled, more plot twists start to happen. First, let's begin with arguably the most important character in the game, the little girl. Straight away, we find out that just something isn't right. The mom of the little girl seems slightly unhinged and throughout the game that becomes more and more apparent as she lashes out at the girl whilst brandishing a knife. The little girl believes that the father must be mistreating her badly for her to act this way and so we believe that the father must be the villain. This is further pushed as the attic is revealed. The little girl believes that the noises she hears in the attics must be children that the father has kidnapped and like I said before, she's only a child so she uses her imagination every step of the way. When the girl finally finds out that there's nothing in the attic, she notices that they have a chimney even though though they don't have a fireplace. And when she falls down it, she finds a bunch of possessions that belong to children, causing her to believe more and more that her father is a kidnapper. And when she finally confronts him about it, he ends up explaining everything. But more on that later. First, let's ask the question, who is the knight? We know who the little girl is, and the man just seems to be a normal guy, so then who is this knight? Well, you see, the knight doesn't exist at all. He is symbolic of someone who has gone through unimaginable pain and continues to the father. So then who is the Keeper of the Spark? The Keeper of the Spark is symbolic of grief. It controls the knight's every move and when later in the game the father tries to leave his grief, it just grows and consumes him further. 
beating him relentlessly. So what is the father grieving? It's the death of his daughter, his actual daughter. It's revealed that the father and mother had a daughter before the little girl, a biological one who was so relentlessly bullied that she ended up taking her own life. The father was stricken with grief as he thought he could have done better if he wasn't so caught up in his work. And the mother blames everything on the father and begins resenting him from here on out. The father ends up saving and adopting a new daughter, one who he pours all his love and care into as he doesn't want to make the same mistake again. He showers her with gifts and treats her well, but the mother can't accept her, and that's why she acts the way she does throughout the whole game. She resents the father even more and starts to make pretty violent threats towards him, ones that have consequences later, but more on that in a minute. Where does the man fit into all of this? What's his role? Well, it's revealed that he is the grandfather, the father of the father and the entire reason he set off on the journey of the game was to get to the house before it's too late the wife rings the grandfather telling him that soon she and her husband will be joining their daughter the grandfather then rushes to the house before it's too late but it is too late the father and the wife are dead most likely the wife killing them both and all that's left is a note on the floor and on it an address to the house the little girl used to live in the wife most likely giving it to her so she can go there and get herself hurt or worse the grandfather rushes to that address and finds the girl about to fall off the balcony he jumps to save her and it's revealed he does i mean round of applause for this guy he's been through hell and back and in the next scene it shows him a lot older with the little girl who is also a lot older sitting over three graves and that my friends concludes in most a mysterious melancholy game about the effects of grief and love all culminating into an incredible game that is honestly one of my favorites all right guys and that's the end of today's video i hope you did enjoy please if you did remember to like comment and subscribe i know this video is vastly different to any of the other videos i've made but i really did enjoy it I enjoyed this one. So I'll see you in the next one. It won't be this gloomy, I promise. And uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.